Two circular characters, two blobs going at it in round <laughs> seven, the final round of JM League. Janaz versus Remora. That's not the thing I thought you'd focus on in that intro, but you know what? I like it. I'm glad you did it. Yeah, man, you gotta keep things fresh. And keep it. The mix ups, even on comps? Yeah, comp mix ups, man. Mm. You gotta develop the meta. And speaking of meta. Meta Knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? I watched, um, I think. Uh, Jez's last round um, as Meta Knight against right. Beauregards, and he was looking pretty clean in that set. You know, yeah. he was getting those those up air chains, the the typical Meta Knight up air chains. Uh, I was gonna mention something else, but that's the only thing I remember. Oh yeah, the drag down bear. Right. Dude, the drag down bears in that set were insane. Cool. And, and like, you know, as someone who's like played Jerry a fair amount and watched him a fair amount, he's also a clean pack man. He mm. knows his setups. You know, he's comfortable with the character. Yeah. Um, and yay, both if there's one thing he knows, it's Pac-Man. Yeah, two very solid characters. Oh no, he bell. jumped. Yeah, you can't jump out a shield against that. Yeah, Dude, the that, bell is nutty. That bell, really, <laughs> is very scary. Yeah. It'll give you quite a shock, and um, right now, I'm definitely in a shit state of shock. Ooh. Watching what's gonna happen. Just for the upbe without confirming into it. Good choice, good anti-air, but it doesn't, Ooh, it doesn't work out attack. unfortunately. Oh, oh the. The side B takes side it. Side B actually just gonna kill. Like he was on the other end of the stage as well. I don't know if I feel like Pac-Man's recovery is kind of slept on. It's like you play against the character and you go like, oh, he can just like recover from like anywhere on the stage. Yeah, he's got side B, you know. And the he's, up B. He's they both fruits, go so right? far. Like it's not a recovery tool, but it's definitely like a mix-up, right? Yeah, and also like helps with like reverse edge guarding sometimes, you know. Um, those fruits in general are such a strong tool from Yeah, Batman. they really are. Very solid, along with Fire Hydrant. Um, mm. Fire Hello. Hydrant, such a strong tool. Mm. And what we're seeing here is pretty scrappy, not ultra, not ultra high octane fight, but yeah. like a pretty scrappy match between these two players. Um, yeah, I think Jerry's the kind of Pac-Man who likes to sort of zone out and get those fruits, but yeah, I think Jez is just putting on so much pressure that he's making it really difficult for Jerry to do that. Yeah, he's just like, he's just like, um, he's maneuvering around Jerry, you know, not mm. giving him space to get those hydrant setups, not giving him space to charge his fruit, you know. Who is hydrant? Like... It's so sad just to see, like, <laughs> Jeremy just attack the hydrant and, like, it doesn't break. Oh, oh, oh nah. He's not dead. Pac-Man cheats. Yeah, Pac-Man Pac cheats. Yeah, he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, you should know. You should know. The only way you know... Hey, hey, I don't want to talk about it, alright? <laughs> that's, that's spoilers. That's spoilers for the Spoilers? Hmm. Um... Ooh, oh, a bell! Goes for the bell back air. Good. Yep. Not enough damage to kill, but definitely a good way of, yeah. you know, Although, getting him off the stage. He does let him reset. Mm. Um, which maybe is not what he might want, but that mm. back throw... Not quite gonna kill, but gonna set... The melon? Dude, that melon is scary. Yeah. It's so slow, but it's just so menacing. Yeah, like, it does so much damage. The, the apple? apple takes it. I guess and he was at a high percent, yeah, but still. Yeah, apple away keeps the Doctor away, and it keeps the Meta Knight away from <laughs> winning the game. True because that. currently, Remora at a high percent, mm. but a stock lead up. Let's see yeah. what Jerry can do with this current lead that he's amassed for himself. Yeah, I mean, what are Meta Knight's kill options here? He can get, like, an up air chain into, like, up B or... Up be out of shield, maybe. Up maybe smash out of shield. Off maybe like an off stage aerial. How strong is back air? Oh, yeah, he can go for the gimps off stage. I think, like, Pac Man's not a character you can really gimp, but if anyone could do it, it'd probably be Meta Knight. Yeah, he's, he's got the jumps to do it, you know. Oh, the drag down bear? Oh, that was sick. That was sh nasty. But yeah, um. Mm. Yeah, he Pac did. Trouble. Closing this out. Never mind. He that's finds the up be out of shield. I think that's the second. That's the second time he's killed with that. Mm. So up be out of shield is probably a kill option. Yeah. Well, the two grabs clashing with each other. Um, and Jezza gonna put Jerry into disadvantage. Um, rack up a cute amount of percent. And yeah, you know, you see with that side B, he's just going straight at it. Right? Mm. Like he's not letting, he's not letting Jerry charge up his fruit. No room to breathe out here. Yeah. It's like, I feel like this is definitely, you know, something that might put Jerry out a little bit outside of his comfort zone. Mm. Um, that's kind of like yeah. the last thing you want in like a high octane set scenario. You know? Yeah, definitely. I will say, I think um, Jezza's having a bit of an issue like trying to break the Hydrant. 
Um, for, for those at home, I think Hydrant can take up to 14%. I think it has like 14% health, and then once it takes that much, it breaks. Yeah. Or, um, you know, Flies. you send it flying. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, in that scenario, you know, if you're facing a Pac-Man, you want to sort of study up, like, what moves or what sequence of moves can I use against the higher yeah. things that will deal enough damage to send it flying. And also, you know, just think about, um... What angles it'll send the hydrant at? Oh yeah, so true. Yeah. Like the hydrant is just—it's scary, man. Is he dead? Oh, he might be dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh no, no, it wasn't a footstool. He—he he sniped the trampoline. Oh wait, you can snipe the trampoline? You, you can jump on the trampoline three times and then it breaks, but your opponent can oh, jump on it too. Wow. So I think he got under him, took the last trampoline hit, and then oh. and then ran away. Or that's he just footstooled, like, maybe. I don't know. That's unintentional <laughs> genius. Mm. But no, that's it's totally intentional. <laughs> our, our players here at JML only do the most optimal, yeah. uh, optimal options. Only the most optimal plays. Mm. Speaking of optimal plays, uh, hydrant anyways. into charge fruit. That's a that's Ooh. an optimal play. Yeah. Oh sure. my Ooh. god, the wall combo uh, yeah. with the hydrant. That's what I was talking about, man. Jerry knows his stuff. He knows his setups. Mm. Um, and that's probably something, another trick that he has up his sleeve. Um, yeah. But yeah. I will say, like, oh, Jerry... That is, that is a, that's Ooh. a nice setup. Great sir. I will say, Jerry, I think, um, because he's getting, like, a lot of pressure, like, sort of, um, applied by Jeremy, it seems like he has to either, um, settle for, like, the weaker fruits, or yeah. he just has to wait until he can charge up a, a strong fruit, like the Gallagher or the Bell. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's making it a lot tougher for him to... You know, do the Pac-Man things that he wants to do. For sure. I noticed that in the last game, he was getting a little bit of space in that final stall, kind of slowing it oh. down. Oh, oh, not enough time. Yeah, I think he thought he thought Jezza would jump into it, but he just like stayed grounded and got hit by it. Oh. Can I just rant about Pac-Man dash attack for a bit? Why is that move minus three? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Like, what a like, grounded move is, like, m that minus. It's like, oh, I just don't understand. Oh, oh. rant over. It's that guy, You know, man. it's not over. This pressure that Jezza is applying to Jeremy's Pac-Man. I mean, Jerry's Pac-Man. Yeah, like, I mean, he's been he's been stuck in, like, that disadvantage. That, ooh. He's got the right intent in terms of catching an option, but mm. maybe not the right option. And... Let's see what. Yeah. I think Jerry might be fishing for the back air a little bit. That yeah. Might be obvious. And let's back see. Her. Not quite gonna kill, but. Very scary position for Meta Knight. A lot of moves can kill here. Yeah, for sure. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. I think both of these players are a little bit on edge. The game's slowed down a little bit. Yeah. Um. I mean, like, whoever takes the first stock, oh! really. Ooh. Speaking of whoever takes oh, the first stock, Jerry takes that first stock with the height. Yeah, for sure. The yellow blob. Beating out the white blob. The white blob. The white blob. With the mask. Oh, speaking the of cape. blobs, uh, the other blob is going <laughs> to take the next stock. Uh, There's a battle of the blobs. Yeah. The blob. Even game again. Yeah, definitely. And um, I'm going to be interested to see how. Oh, that's a nice sequence. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how these players, you know, take the pace, you know. Um, is Jerry going to be able to slow things down as he wants to? He's, been, he's shown that he's capable of doing it mm. uh, in the past in this set. Oh, the drag down bear. Oh, yeah. I just love seeing those. It looks so cool. It's like, even if it doesn't lead into anything like crazy, it just looks so cool. Oh, oh that was scary. Mm. Fire hydrant is so scary, man. Oh, can you see combos here? Goes for the, I'm pretty sure that's forward tilt. Oh, the melon? The oh, melon, melon is so scary. It does so much damage and it moves so slowly. It's I mean, like, menacing. all the fruits are scary, you know? Like, yeah. They're all. Like, even Apple, you know, we saw it kill, and ooh, yeah. you know what we're gonna see kill? I think that's a dare. Although it is nice that at different percents you can play around different fruits. Like, um, for example, at early percents, that Gallagher is such a menace because you oh, can get yeah. the, all the combos off it, but at late percents, it's just like, whatever, you know, like. I'm at 120. What are you gonna do? Put me at 150? Like same difference. <laughs> well, you're uh, you're 10% yeah. closer. You're 30% closer to being killed. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's an that's a nice adaptation from Jerry. You know, like it's it's very subtle, but I noticed that like 
Jazz, Jazz has definitely been going for those like rapid jabs at mm. ledge. You know, it's good of Jerry to be able to call it out like that. That's the sort of adaptation that we love to see. Um, but for sure. he's going to have to adapt a lot more for sure because because Jerry, 51% on a final stock, mm. and we and you know Jazz has shown that he's like he's able to find his kills. Yeah, and he's able to hold on to the stock lead too. Oh, Ooh. F smash won't do it. Nice patience holding the shield. Mm. Not gonna get taken out by the F smash. Yeah, I do remember, um, esteemed uh, JML member, or former JML member, Jonas Tang, told me that, um, you know, he played against Jerry a bit and he thought, like, you know, like, Jerry's pretty good, but he often finds it hard to kill without using yeah. F smash. Yeah, I noticed yeah. that. Um, you know, it's F Smash or maybe Hydrant. I noticed mm. those are like his main option. <laughs> Both of them coming into play there. Oh, but speaking well, of another kill option. With the down air, very nice. Yeah, I wonder at what percent that kills. Oh, oh good. Just the side B. Good, good back air to intercept that side B. Yeah, definitely. It's nice that Jezza was just like lurking around in that like area, you know. You want to eat this side B? How about you want to eat that pellet? How about eat these back airs? Oh, and, oh, and the the Byleth, the Byleth comes out. Um, I do know Jerry does have the Byleth. I don't know how often he's played the Byleth, but... Yeah, maybe it it's is like something that comes up from time new. to time. It's experimental, you know? That too. Although... I, th I think he's played it for a while, but like, I don't know oh, how often... Oh Whoa! God, a clean that was a clean zero to death! death. I was not sure expecting we that! we distracted by the Byleth. As was you know, we can't diss the Byleth now. Yeah, we can't. We can't disrespect it. What an unorthodox Ooh. choice. On an unorthodox stage, Lilac. You don't see this one very often. Yeah. Um, and Jerry, this is a, what a good showing. Oh, Maybe that's like Jerry's strategy for this game, you know? Like, oh, I'm gonna mix you up, pick pick a character that, like, pick a character that you have to adapt to, and oh. also pick a stage that tons of people really don't like. Tons of yeah. people find it pretty jank, myself included. I, I know, hate right. the stage. And <laughs> even that it's a smaller stage, and you know, Byleth just has those, like, high impact moves. Oh my god, the oh, parry? The parry. That was sick. That was a good. That was a good call. Very ballsy, but very good play. But yeah, I would. I would suppose that like it would kind of be tougher for Meta Knight to like deal with um, mm. Violet off stage since like she can just tether. Rather yeah. Than, like Pac-Man, who has that you know that extended like who has a good recovery, but like spends an extended period of time in that off stage space. Yeah. Although I will say, um, Violet's like aerial drift is not. Really, Ooh. the greatest. Oh my you god! You don't get it once, Take but you'll get it twice. That F smash has so much rage. Error oh. bar. Um, yeah. yeah. As I was saying, like I think Byleth's recovery, since her aerial drift is not very great, I think it would be pretty nice for um for Jezza to just like snipe it, you know? Yeah, interesting how we both have like different views. Because so far, I haven't really seen Jezza like getting much, like many offstage edge guards, but then again... Oh my god, that reach? Oh yeah. I swear I remember, um, I think last time I commented oh, yeah. um, Jezza's game, I think uh, Vinny told me that um, the up smash has more reach than the up beat. Maybe oh. that's something uh, Jezza would know more about. But yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was oh, surprised the up beat reached chains. at that range. Right. We're playing some solid neutral here. Yeah, definitely. You know, I feel like Jerry's looking for that back air, you know, looking to start things. Yeah. And I don't think he minds too much if the game's slowing down. He's like, stuck ahead, you know, not yeah. in a particularly dangerous percent. Mm. Um, and he's like, I, I feel like he's just happy to get these trades, you know, like these hit, run back, you know, maybe mm. go for a little bit more as with that nice sequence, but that's an even nicer parry. Mm. Um, Gonna start getting the pressure on Jerry there. Um, yeah. Oh, really, really good player from Jerry here. You know, he's he's got his stock lead. He he knows it's not too bad. He doesn't have to play too scared. He can just you know, um, use Violet's range to his advantage. Oh, the, oh, stage, the stage spike. spike? Oh, this actually oh, might man. be closer than yeah. the first stock may have suggested. Yeah, even though it's zero percent, you know, losing the stock lead is huge. Yeah, what's he gonna do? All oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, the up air he, chains. Oh, he doesn't get hit by that one, and he's able to nair out. Oh, this is actually like a very precarious situation. He has no jump, but does manage to make it back. Yeah. Jezza here definitely wants to close it out as quickly oh, as he now, can. I, I imagine he doesn't want to play another game after this. Oh yeah, definitely. He wants to for keep sure. the amount oh, of games no, that a minute. Like, Jezza jump. 
Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, shit. He got stage spiked! Oh, he had oh, it! He, he had it! He had good job! He had it and he got stage spiked. Oh my oh god, my that's god. so unfortunate! Yeah. He has to oh, play my... another game. Oh, the character another switch again. Game? He's like, oh, you thought you were adapting to the Byleth? No. Catch oh, this Rosalina. Yeah, definitely for sure. Rosalina. Yeah. Some a character rarely seen. Yeah. Uh, Jerry is like the resident Rosa main. Yeah. Um, or the Rosa secondary. Yeah. The only other Rosa I can think of is um Dura 2, who was yeah. quite a contestant in um Hold That L 1 and 2, I believe. Yeah. Um, um, though not in this game League. Not in so, this season. Jessup but... probably doesn't have that much experience with Rosa, which means... Yeah. I, I mean, know. who does? Yeah, Let's be real. I know, I know right? Not, ma Rosa. not many Rosalinas in the Victorian scene either. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, there's a few that I can ooh, think of. Tries yeah. to catch the roll in. Good intent, but doesn't actually Killing Wooma as well. And oh, go. and then killing Rosa right after. Yeah, I know, right? It's yeah. a double homicide as first blood goes to Jezza. Yeah, Jezza's furious after that last game. He's, yeah, he's like, no, nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let you take this set I'm not after gonna that. Let some anime sword fighter <laughs> humiliate me. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let this, um... This blonde-haired space queen do it either. Yeah. We're gonna have to see what Rosa does without Luma. Um... And Jezza need to be quite in the zone, not playing as mm. aggressively, but he is just like, you know, popping around that neutral space, you know, like mm. jumping around, throwing out a few, couple of hitboxes. Yeah, he like, afford to, right? he's not too scared of um, Rosa's options, you know? Mm. Um, although, I do see Jeremy, like, trying to so he used the Luma to his advantage to say, kind of, um... Luma's interesting. Luma works as a shield, and also, like, you can use it as a zoning tool. Luma's very, um, multi-use, you know? Yeah, definitely. A bit tricky to use, but rewarding, yeah. right? Because you can kind of extend your hitboxes. Do you think um, you'd describe Rosalina as a girl boss? Yeah. <laughs> Rosa's a space queen girl boss. Space queen girl boss. Space queen girl boss, but let's see space if Space queen girl Jerry... boss taking that last stock there. Yeah, let's see if Jerry can girl boss his way back Ooh, into the Does Mennonite have a kill throw? I don't believe... Actually, I think he has up throw. Um, because it's one of those, like, you fly into the air and then drop him back down again throws, yeah. but... You know, oh, on a stage nice, in Battlefield. Nice, that was a nice spot dodge. Yeah, um, good. The recognition there. I good option like, there. You know, with the Rosa, Jerry's a little bit lost as to what to do. He's kind of like throwing out moves here and there, but like, he's not really getting out much out of Luma, you know? Yeah. Um, Luma's... Oh, oh the oh, chains? That's a sick chain. The double um, up air into double down air. I like to see it. But yeah, I mean like, um, Jezza kind of like, seems to be like a fish in water, you know, in his, in his zone, doing what yeah. he wants to do. But Jerry's kind of like a little bit lost. Yeah. Um, Definitely not as comfortable as he was with the Byleth last game, or even like the pack, right? Yeah, I think Rosa isn't a character he brings out very often, mm. but it's also one he really enjoys playing. Yeah, he for knows sure. like he knows the tools well enough. Mm. Yeah, he's definitely shown like you know when I played friendlies with him, he knows how to use Luma, right? So mm. it's not like a deep. It's not. It's not a matter of like he doesn't know how to play the character. Yeah, it might just be you know. Speaking this of which, itself. he definitely knows that ledge trap right there. Oh the yeah, Luma. you know. This is like down it, right okay. To the down air, maybe a little bit risky, but ooh, ooh. that's almost gonna take it. Oh, um, Rosa up air. That's not a move you want to be caught by. Yeah, for sure. The not parry. a strong smash four, but you know, still a very solid tool. Yeah, something to respect, right? And like mm. Jerry found a little bit of momentum, which is quite promising, because he's gonna need it to um mm. get his way back to take the set. Yeah, definitely for sure. Yeah, um, still with the stock lead, looking good. Although yeah, I feel like every time I've mentioned the stock lead, it's been lost. So. It's the commentator's curse. The commentator's curse. curse. Yeah. The Jackson Jinx. The Jackson Jinx. I'm a god of alliteration. <laughs> the, the Robin repetition. The Robin repetition and the Jackson Jinx. Ooh, Ooh. But speaking of Jinx. Um, Tough spot here. Yeah, Good recovery. Not being there. Although, is that, that's the down tilt? Does make it oh back my though. Gosh. What? Hmm. What moves is he looking for? Maybe bear. F Wait. smash. F smash is pretty strong. Which moves? Who's looking? Oh, for? moves. Um, Jeremy is looking for. Oh yeah, for sure. Might be looking for the. Ooh, that was close. He might be looking for the up air. Oh there we no! Go. I'm in the up beat. And like, yeah. Yeah. He almost gets it. He oh. tried with that up beat, but. Not quiet. You know. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let's see if he gets anything out. Nice. Ooh, the, the platform the tech. tech chase. Oh, yeah. Still a solid lead, though. Yeah, you know. for sure. Great position like, for Jezza. 
Ooh. The oh, drag no, no. down? Oh my god. The drag down. That was really the sick. Up B. Yeah. The drag down Baron to up B. Solid. Up Eric getting the kill yet again. Well played to both players.